Computers, I've loved them since I've been able to afford to have my own, right back in the beginning of the, the modern home computer era, the 1980s. And I've owned a large number of different kinds of computer, and I've expressed publicly loyalty to this kind or that kind. But recently, my mind has turned, as many people's have, to this whole business of free software. And there's a lot of confusion about what this means. And I'd like to help clear it up, because this happens to be a year of celebration. And I want to help us all celebrate it and look forward to the future of free software. If you have, I don't know, plumbing in your house, it may be that you don't understand it. But you may have a friend who does, and they may suggest you move a pipe here, a stopcock there, a valve somewhere else. And you're not breaking the law by doing that, are you? Because it's your house and you own the plumbing. You can't do that with your computer. You can't actually really fiddle with your operating system. And you certainly can't share any ideas you have about your operating system with other people. Because Apple and Microsoft, who run the two most popular operating systems, are very firm about the fact that they own that. And no one else can have anything to do with it. Now, this may seem natural to you. Why shouldn't they? But actually, why can't you do with it what you like? And why can't the community at large alter and improve and share? That's how science works, after all. All knowledge is free and all knowledge is shared in good science. If it isn't, it's bad science and it's a kind of tyranny. And this is really where it all started. A man called Richard Stallman, he decided 25 years ago to almost to this very date, he decided to write a whole new operating system from the ground up. He called it GNU, which stands for GNU is not Unix, because it isn't. It's similar to Unix in many ways, but every element of it, every, every module, every, every little section of the code, and it's a gigantic code because it's to run on many, many platforms, is run by the community, is run by coders out there who are welcomed into the GNU community to help improve the software. Um, every distro, as they're called, every, every distribution of GNU uh, is tested and, and worked upon and refined by people whose only interest is in creating the perfect operating system that can be used across the spectrum of platforms by as many users as possible. Now, there came a time when the kernel, which is the sort of central part of an operating system, needed to be written, and a man called Linus Torvald, of whom you may have heard, wrote the kernel, and it was named after his name, um, Linus. It was known as Linux, or Linux, as some people pronounce it. And Linux is the kernel that runs within GNU. And I'm here, as it were, simply to remind you that GNU and Linux are the twin pillars of the free software community. People who believe, and this is the important part, that software should be free, that the using community should be allowed to adapt it and adopt it, to change it, to improve it, to spread those improvements around the community, like science. That's basically what it's saying. In the same way that good scientists share everything and all knowledge is open and free, so it should be with an operating system. So if you're a supporter of GNU, if you're a supporter of Linux and Free Software Foundation, well, what can I do, you're probably wondering. The most obvious thing you can do is use a GNU Linux operating system on your own computer. It's a lot easier than you might think. Go to gnu.org and see if you can find a distribution that suits you. Probably, if you like a good graphical user interface, something like GNUSense, GNUSense. You'll see it there on gnu.org. Or, if you're a really smart cookie, you might want to do your own coding. You might want to contribute to the sum of knowledge that makes GNU and Linux what they are. Either way, I hope you will join me in wishing Gnu a very happy 25th birthday. Let's do that now, actually. So, happy birthday, Gnu. 25 years old. The operating system of the future. Freedom! Mm. Chocolatey good. The tastiest operating system 